What's up, guys? Docs the King here today. We're going to play a new Pokemon game. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Very excited. Can't wait. Actually, I'm going to wait one second because I'm on the wrong HDMI. There we go. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. Okay. You can disable. Yeah. I'm going to do that sometimes whenever a shiny shows up. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. dude what is thy name Brady. yes soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee can you go lay down in your bed hey hey doxty move your butt Move your butt to your bed. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Brady. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Oh no, my phone! Not my smartphone! Pokemon Legends Arceus. I don't actually know how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. Also, that loading symbol on the bottom right looks clean. Wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Yo, our starters. Are you alive, my boy? You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? Where am I? Uh, who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some direction? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Uh, I don't know. So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you're able to survive? I don't know what to do. I 
I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. Foo. Plish plash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. Okay, what are you doing? Hey, Dotsty. You're not a Pokemon. Go lay down, okay? I love you. Cutie. My, that's a relief. Though, you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Well, er, yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, my mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so, you're called Brady. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Let's go find out. What does Brady mean? Uh, Brady definition. Okay, well, we're not going to use that one. Let's go on Urban Dictionary. Pretty cool guy that likes to breathe. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself yet. Uh, it might not have said it. Might not have said yet on the screen. Whatever. Uh, my name is Lav Laventon. Laventon, Laventon. I'm probably just going to say Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. Something by my feet, great. Uh, that is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here wish... Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! We got the game and we're running around! Oh my god, it finally happened. Oh... It's a frame rate, probably like 30 frames. I really hope when we get like a Switch Pro, whatever the hell they call it, that like I can play all these old games at a higher frame rate. I don't need to play them at a higher resolution, just frame rate. Just, I, well, actually, in some cases, frame, uh, resolution. Like, it's got to be able to do like 1080. For, like, everything. Okay, so I can't go in this building, whatever the heck it is. Can I pick up any berries? I can't shake trees. I have to throw things at the trees. What's that? Is it my phone? It is. Oh, but it's got, like... An Arceus uh, case thing on it. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Investigate. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. From it. Yeah, that's gonna be so friggin' annoying. To fit in my pocket? Why wouldn't you just, like, change the back of the phone? Yeah, that's gonna be really annoying to carry around. Uh, a message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone, and thy mission seek out all Pokemon. Sounds good. I hope we get more, like... I mean, I don't know what direction they're going to be taking Pokemon after this. And I know I just started, but I have a feeling I'm going to like this game a lot. 
And if I do, it'd be cool if we got more games under the title, like, Pokemon Legends, and then just, like, Pokemon Legends Mewtwo, and just make a game around Mewtwo with, like, the original 151 or something. Maybe some more Pokemon mixed in there, too. Who knows? I don't know. Just... I think it would be very interesting if they did something like that. Did you just go cross-eyed then? Whatever. Sigh. Alas, yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently its battles use... Apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Crap! That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Foom! The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Plish Splash! Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. You obtained 50 Pokeballs. That's awesome. A mysterious Pokeball... A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Love it. Love it! I love the idea of crafting these things instead of buying them. Uh, ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at a Pokemon and why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. So... That wasn't explained until this game that, like, Pokemon... Pokemon themselves shrink, not the Pokeball shrinking them. Um, which means humans probably couldn't go in a Pokeball because they don't have the shrink ability that Pokemon do. It's weird. It's a, just a weird detail that they decided to talk about in this game. Um, I think I already read that. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch me, th catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say so, I suppose given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Learning Pokeballs. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. So you use right stick to adjust the adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press B button to cancel throw. Sounds good. So there's Ocelot. There's the bird Pokemon. Where the hell is Cyndaquil? Is he over here? He is. Get 
Get in the ball, you bitch! Get in the ball! Yeah! We got one. Oh, wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. It seems you're quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Brady. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm catching all three of these Pokemon. You're claiming they're yours, but they're wild Pokemon that you can't just re-summon back to your ball. So, they're not your Pokemon, and I should be able to take all three of these and not have to just choose one. I want all three! I want all of them. I want all of them. All of them. Look at that guy. Look at him. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh my god, that's fucking adorable! Holy shit. That is fucking adorable. Like, I think Cyndaquil is the one that I want. And that's why I caught Cyndaquil first. But holy shit. That was fucking adorable. You're mine, bitch. Get in the ball. I can hardly believe it, Brady. Incredible. You know, many more... Many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed, just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? What does that mean? Sharpish. Do you mean soonish? Hello! Hello! You are adorable, boy! Or girl! <laughs> No, the, uh, I mean, <gasps> I failed. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. There we go. I'm not giving these back to you. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. This guy is a asshole for taking Pokemon from children. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen, they won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Pokemon... But I must say, Brady, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? I already told you I know about Pokemon already. Why does this guy make so many assumptions? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Oh yeah, right. So that makes sense for why he would be confused why I'm so good at this. Uh, enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced me. Then whoever and from whenever, wherever, 
you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings to find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilee Village. I'm all hopped up a Mountain Dew! Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. I'm a child, so you know, just like, you should let children into the village, because you know, they're children. Imagine if these guards people, like, didn't lend a child that was wandering on its own. Their own, wandering on their own. It wouldn't make sense. Uh, this way, if you please. Jubilee Village, it's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. This road we're on now. Oh my gosh, I need more time to read this. No, it's the locals as Canal Avenue. The village was built scare, uh, scarily two years ago. There's much to do. I, I can't read all this. It's going too fast. What the fuck? Shut up. Stop talking. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people... Literally no time to read this. There's so much text happening. I don't read that fast. Shut the fuck up. This is going literally way too fast. Let me read what you're saying. Now that an impressive building up ahead of Galaxy Edge uh, headquarters. Uh, I understand that you must... Uh, it's, too, it's too many words. Too many words, too much. Shut the fuck up. Slow it down. Can we, like, slow down the text? I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village. What the fuck is this? But do follow me for now. I'm, like, looking over at my stream to finish reading. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village. Is it because these people? It's ridiculous. What the fuck was that? Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Why don't I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here. Then to the left, the wallflower it's called. <sighs> oh my god. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh, that's useful. Use the minus button to view the map on your ARC phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. You'll also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try and spot one of these markers. Then head for it. The wallflower, which serves as the wild, uh, the village canteen.
Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Once again, this is a child. Fuck you. You're an asshole. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. You would also be. If the guard if the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Are you serious? That you wouldn't let this child in? This is fucked up. Perhaps you've met Professor Lavatin. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not so long ago. And had to take to my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow. To put it mildly. Uh, professor! But everything will be quite, quite alright now. Brady here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain... Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy's Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. I don't think it's Kyleen, I think it's Silene. That makes more sense to me. Since it's like Cyndaquil, but Cyndaquil is a C. Um, Professor Lavaton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. I feel like that's against child labor laws, but you know, whatever. Uh, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh-ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you'll- I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter the rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversations then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Guy was an asshole to me. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Professor Lavaton, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, uh, well, you know, of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space time rift. Our friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all f phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are, in the grass, in forest, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as a survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. 
Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kind of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. Uh, but that's where Brady will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three, we have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Wow, Benny, you're an asshole. Uh, fuck off. Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Brady, and think if you make it to the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said member fell out of the sky. Oh. <sighs> I really like how this game looks right now, uh, with all the conversation stuff that's happening. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Brady has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Brady's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Brady, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Thanks. But if you fail to pass the trial, we will put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Wow, these people are fucking relentless. This is a child. You already said he's 15. This is fucking brutal. Uh, Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply put, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out on the futons we sleep in here. One can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toil Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with the ZLZR button until you reach the save screen. There is also an autosave function you can 
use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. This guy's neck is so thin, you could snap it very easily. His neck is as thin as his limbs. It's ridiculous. Let's rest. Rest until tomorrow morning, yes. I don't know how much of this game I'm going to stream versus playing on my own, but I'm going to stream a bit of it. Here and there. What could that be? I, I'm not fully sure, but I have some idea. Good morning, Brady. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so er, let's give it our all. Yo, what if he's just dead? What if I just died and I was a zombie? And that's what this game was. It was a zombie game where I kill people and... Chew on some Pokemon. I eat all of the Pokemon. Instead of gotta catch them all, you gotta eat every single one. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. I hope I can. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if the land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Survey Corps office are here on the first. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corpse will put you to rights. That's weird. Uh, that man's with a security corpse, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Silene Brady's here. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. My galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our survey corpse satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Wow. So cool. I don't look like a dork at all. That satchel doesn't exactly match your mode of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. 
The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Checking missions and requests. Press Y while, cons while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Okay, so side missions. Uh, pardon, Brady. Come with me a moment. You gonna give me a Pokemon? Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laviton? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Brady absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've gotten just the ticket to help accomplish that. Woo! It's time! Crow! Foom! Splish Splash! No, Plish Splash, that's what it is. Go on, Brady, pick the Pokemon that strikes you fancy. Look! Ah, uh, my god. Uh, with a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? You know, I could get you three replacement Pokemon that would just be- they would be just fine. And I could take all three of these. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Maybe? Please? Oh, so, how does, uh... I'm just curious where the, uh... Where the light's coming from. And how it's casting a shadow. Oh my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? What do you think, you dink? Cyndaquil, baby! Foom! Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Absolutely. I'm all about the fire Pokemon. Look at that cutie! Oh, you cute. That guy was just like... And with that, one of the Pokemon you could... Look at- Look at the- Look at the- Like, he looks so disappointed that I didn't pick him! I hate this! I'm gonna catch one of you! Okay? I'm just not gonna have you, you. You son of a- And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside his Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Why can't I have all three of them? You've received Cyndaquil. Disappointment! A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Cuckoo! Plash! They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help. Why are you telling me these things? This is painful. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Brady fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Crew! Plish splash! <coughs> By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Didn't you already give me, like, 50? Or did you just give me more? You obtained 20 Pokeballs. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. That's a weird saying. Uh, you'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally done. Or finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial, turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Yeah, I don't really need, like, instructions on where to go when there's a marker. Gotta catch them all. I wanna be the very best. No one ever was. Catch them is my real test. 
The train to miss my cars. Travel across the room. Searching far and wide. These Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon! Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've already... I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you... Oh, and you've a Pokemon? You've certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though, I hope you know, you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Well, it's not going to, and I'm gonna beat your ass! That's what you're fighting my Cyndaquil with? A fucking Togepi? so weird that I can, like, move around. I'm gonna bitch slap the shit out of you! Oh no! Yep, told you. I would win. Aha! Now I do the Fortnite dance. Do, do. Where you like do the L and you kick. Uh, move items, use them. Moves items, you use. Moves items, use them well. I hate this. I hate the sentence. And the world will open up to you. My brain just like completely failed reading that. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Uh, Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. But so few people here have their own Pokemon, if only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Oh, he said like that. At any rate, let me help you. Our two battlers recover from their little exercise. No! There's no do 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 do. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. How do you know I fell from the sky? You obtained five potions. A top. A. Topical medicine made uh, meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP uh, to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. Nothing else from that, dude. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilife Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by Pokemon. Oh, so is that the excuse they use? 
for uh, not having like a proper open world. <sighs> the trial begins just as a short way past that front gate. You're Brady, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside of the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Yes, that's where I want to go. Fast travel. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Yo, what if we got like a shiny Shinx? Uh, oh, Professor, is something wrong? Uh, well, you see, Captain Silene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. But what help? But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Brady's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies in fact with me then. Well, I'm sure Brady will be fine. Let's begin the trial. This is like a very different start to a Pokemon game. It's it's very slow. It's been 51 minutes since I started the stream. And I've only gotten my starter and that's about it. I got my starter and I had my first battle. But like, it's very slow. I'm not saying it's... I'm not saying slow is bad. I'm just saying it's slow. Need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items? Come on by. Wait, can I talk? On your entry trial, are you stay alive and good luck passing too? Okay, well, you know, you weren't. This must be some kind of workbench. I can't craft yet. I can. Wait, can I actually rest though? Oh, I don't need to rest. Item storage. Yo! We have access to that. Great. Oh, how many Pokeballs do we have? Twenty. Okay, so we don't actually have like fifty here originally gave me. It'll be nice when they can do a proper open world where everything, I mean, there's like no load points. Like uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, this is Aspiration Hill. The species... Is that really what it's called? Yeah. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Obsidian Fieldlands. And along comes a Bidoof. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Uh, hold down ZL to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights. As long as it's nearby, this technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon attacks. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run away from people. It did not tend to run for people. Uh, so this will be easy. Why am I at the top of the hill here now? When we were just having a conversation down here. Why do I need to talk to you? The Bidoof is there. You ought to be able to catch a Bidoof with a well-thrown Pokeball. Hey, yo! Yeah! Easy. 
You caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Where's the uh, Pokedex? I guess it's probably the thing that's in between here. Sure you know where you're going? I do. I'm just looking around. This is a very different looking Pokemon game and I like it. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Where's she? Is she running in the grass? No. Dun 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 Yeet! Bad throw. There we go. Like missing these balls, man. What happens if I throw them all and I miss? Uh, that's Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go, and I'm gonna have to fight this one, I believe. That's my guess. I haven't seen much of the start of the game to actually know that. It's just a uh, pretty safe assumption. I forgot there's something I have to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. Uh, the Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokeballs at po at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle. Catching a Shinx. Investigate! Thank you. Where is that little bastard? There, that Shinx. See that? Or that's, that's. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive, Pokemon get irate. They'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. When you use the ZL button to focus on Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. Yeah, I, I did see some videos on this stuff, so I already knew about the uh, the different colors and how to get it to green. Like, I'm going to use berries probably to catch this Pokemon or fight it, I'm not sure. Uh, the more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Uh, an X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Uh, be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they've... I feel like I can use berries though. Uh, once they're absorbed with battling, you can catch... You can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got 
several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. Uh, it's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. Um, if you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press X. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Okay, I know that already. Let's fight, you little shit! Yo, we got it. That's it, you caught a Shinx. You approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift from the sky dropped to us. Yeah, that's literally what I am. Literally, I'm exactly that. I fell from the sky, the sky, I said a sky. I fell from the sky, you know that thing behind you? To your back left. And I'm helping you guys out. I'm catching all the Pokemon. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps have a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful! I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. Woo! Yeah! Oh, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors. And it seems you went and just did that. Congratulations, Brady. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Look at that old ass camera. Don't close your eyes! With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? I don't like that you're doing that Canadian thing, because it's bringing up the Canadian me, and every time I have to say, hey. Don't go on Twitter. That can't be real. That's gross if that's true. Oh boy, you don't want that. I don't like that. I'm not going to see what that is, but that's weird. Uh, in time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field in theory. Though we've ha never had anyone skilled enough to do so. You've never had anyone skilled enough to do so, but you know the number is six. What if I brought 10? Hmm? What if I brought 150? What if I brought all of them? <laughs> uh, come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our report at headquarters. 
I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Better be. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Ooh, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Ooh. That's not what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find a good AFK, uh, a good AFK stream. Screw. Screen? Screen. Picture. Whatever. I wanted to find a cute photo of, like, a Pokemon just, like, sitting on a toilet. And then there's one where it's, like, uh, somebody's playing Pokemon Go and Pikachu's on the toilet. And you just see the shadow of, uh, somebody's dick. Great. Thanks. I should have known better. Who the hell is putting stickers? Yeah, I'm not gonna find- I'm not gonna find a good image trying to do that. So I'm just gonna have to use Legends Arceus. I can't wait to have, like, a proper outfit in the game. seconds when I have to do what I have to do. Uh, it seems we don't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations, you've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. <gasps> Am I gonna get that uniform? Like, the actual uniform? I can't wait to see this thing. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you are to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. I can't wait to put on this outfit! I look like such a fucking dork. I'm gonna look so fucking cool, man. Woo! Let's get changed. Change outfit. Yes. Yes. But do I have a hat? I don't. Oh wait, color contacts. Green! I really wish I had a hat. I look pretty cool, but I, I need a hat. My, my hair is terrible. 
You changed this is your survey corpse out, uh, uniform. There we go. Now I fit in mostly besides my dorky ass haircut. Look how well our survey corpse uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Hat, 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 hat. Fuck it, let's go, we got the hat. I've never been so excited for a character's clothing in a game because he looked so terrible and now he looks like how he should look. Now present yourself to the commander. I will. On the next episode, we're gonna end the stream. Actually, should I end the stream here? That would that would work. We're gonna do it. We're gonna end the stream here, and I'm gonna be right back with some more Pokemon. And I'm gonna, uh, uh, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna keep playing games. It's a good time. Brb, but ladies and gentlemen. Twitch.tv slash Doxy, YouTube.com slash Doxy King. If you like the video, like it. Hit that button. I can see the ratio. You can't suck on that, consumers.